Hi guys, Kaiser here. Steam is currently running the Next Fest event, where a bunch of developers are releasing demos for their upcoming games. And I've been snooping around, checking out these demos, and one of the games that has really caught my eye is a game called Phantom Brigade. In Phantom Brigade, you take on the role of various pilots commandeering these giant mechs uh, to go up against the enemy, and it's a really fun turn-based strategy game with a twist. Uh, I'm really intrigued by what I've seen so far, and I thought it'd be fun to bring to the channel and show you what they've got in the demo. So rather than me talking about the game, let's go ahead and just dive right in and check it out together. Right, start off with the cutscene here. Sorry to strap you in so early today, Lieutenant, but we'll have to cut our checks short. We lost the town comms last night, and I'd like you to take a look at the tower we have half a click north from here. Okay, so, tutorial, they start you off with the same buttons every tutorial does, how to move the camera. Alright, nice, nice, got it, okay. So... Let me see here. Left click. So when you select a unit, uh, this is kind of straightforward. Here. Hey, Lieutenant. They're still installing the prototype in my rig, so don't hog all the action till I catch up. Yes, it's not the most exciting test run of our new tech, but we've got people here counting on us, so let's move out. Whoa. What happened here? <laughs> Probably just some damn rowdy civilians. HQ, this is Special Field Ops Team Bravo requesting immediate repair detail. Over. This Rowdy civilians. Negative, yep. Commander. For sure. Repair detail busy until further notice. Stand by. What could they be busy with? Well, let's see if we can't do a little more recon. Boot up that shiny new device Ops installed in your rig and we'll see what she's made of. I really like the Commander. He's, he's well acted. Anyway, uh, let's see. So, the prediction system. This is the heart of the game that makes it really interesting. This timeline displays your planned actions and predicts what every unit will do in the next five seconds. So, this game, as you're going to see in a little bit here, it reminds me a lot of um, uh, Into the Breach, in a way, where you can see what your opponents will do, and then you base your movements around what your enemy is doing, in a way that's really cool. Uh, I'll got move it. to scout one side of the tower. If she's warmed up, you should be able to see where I'm moving and flank the opposite side. Right, so here we'll see what uh, my buddy here, the commander's doing. Yeah, you, you can see a line, and, and so you can see the next five minutes, I can track in this timeline, and you'll notice that, you know, his uh, blue hologram shows you what's going down. Now, so far, they've unlocked two movement options for us. We've got the run option and the wait option. If I want to tell my unit to stand still for a period of time, I pick wait, and the further out I drag this line, you can see on the timeline, the longer my unit waits. So I want to wait for just like a second and a half. Wait, and then I'll move up to this location right here. Okay, execute. And then everything plays out once you've committed to your actions. An unmarked tank. And no transponder. What the hell? Is this some surprise war games maneuver? Yeah, HQ, we have an unmarked non-cooperative tank at location 2SBR15. Confirm intent, over. HQ, confirm, over. Lieutenant, I'm getting a heat signature from the tank's power core. Check your prototype. If that tank even twitches, cripple it. So we can see now we have plot twist, an enemy on the field. 
and you'll check in the next five seconds. The tank moves forward, and it's going to take a shot at the commander. Okay, once once it gets right here. So, what we want to do? Let's move to this location. All right. And as we're moving, I'm going to tell my unit to attack as soon as the tank gets into the white ring. All right. And maybe I can even fit in a second attack, possibly. Let me see if I can get away with this. Yeah, double attack. Yeah, that... That takes care of that. Good read on the tank. I'm hit, but just a scratch. What? I'm picking up multiple targets from the north. My god, this can't be right. Take cover! Take cover! New contacts are out of range. Try taking cover to protect the unit from damage. So we're going to run back over here. And I think that's all we can do this turn. This is no war game. Commander, multiple contacts just appeared on our forward slope. Weapons ready. Treat us hostile. This is not a drill. Intercept and protect the town. We're on our way. Roger, heading out. HQ, come in. HQ, do you read? Where's HQ at, man? Pinned down by two trans. Returning fire. Got one. Shit, a walker. Lieutenant, get the... Commander? Commander! Defensive position. The commander's down, but we have to focus. We have citizens to protect. There's a walker and multiple treads on approach. Remember, if things go to hell, set self-destruct and punch out so they can't salvage our prototype. Whatever happens, let's meet at evac point R09. All right. New forces attack the town. Eliminate them using the three units at your disposal. Okay. So we've been given control of three walker units here. Uh, one unit here has a shotgun and a shield. One has an assault rifle and an SMG. And one has a heavy laser gun and a handgun. All right. Let's see, how do we want to play this? I consider the walker probably the big threat. I bet you, if I were to move, let's see here. I'm gonna have the laser gun focused on the walker and I believe the laser will be enough to deal with them. Let me see. I'm gonna move you up. Okay. No, no, no. Uh, let's start over. I'm gonna move you right into range right here. I'm going to shield up. Nah. That's probably good. And then you can move up to here. Let's see if you can't put some damage in on that tank. We're, go we're just going to play this very aggressively. And I think the laser... Let's find out if the laser's enough. The, the friendly fire there. Okay, good news. We see this unit is destroyed. This unit is down. So now we just have a couple of tanks to deal with. Let's see. If I can, oh, no, 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 no. no I, don't, I don't need to replay. I need to... Oh. Yeah, so you can always go back and watch the replay. There we go. But, 
Okay. At this point, you go ahead and move there. There we go. You still have the shotgun. And I think two rounds into that bad boy will definitely take care of that. Um, as for you... I bet you that... Hmm... Maybe if I do that and... Hold on, hold on, hold on. That'll be good. Okay, yeah, that was more than enough. Good. Almost at the cliff. Go, go, go. Into the forest. Very mobile. Anyone can hear me. We have people counting on us to retake what they've taken from us. Even if we are the last ones left. Time threads are converging. There's nothing more we can do here. It's a final time for some shut eye. No. Not today. By the time we realized what was happening, it was too late. We were at war. The border towns and cities were hit first. Communications cut, and residents chased from their homes. In their place, they erected military outposts that still watch us to this day. We fought back, and for a while, we even held down the capital. But we were outmaneuvered, and outnumbered, outgunned. Eventually, those of us who didn't surrender had to escape. For years, the government has operated in exile, along with the Home Guard, the remaining remnants of our country's military. They have been fighting tirelessly against impossible odds. But they can't do it alone. We answer to no one, nothing but the call. And now, after years of training, preparing, waiting, the Phantom Brigade is coming home. Alright. Welcome home, Brigade. You peer out at the vast stretch of land before you. Your home, now a battleground. It is as familiar as an old friend, with its deceptively quiet mountains and fields. At your back, your crew awaits your orders. 
You need supplies, parts, and a place to bunker down. A pilot points to a spot on the map directly ahead of you, Felheim Base, which once belonged to the homeland in the days before the war. It will belong to you again. All right, acknowledge. Got it, so what they show us here in the demo, you don't just have these individual missions, but you also have a world map that you're operating on with the goal of taking your country back from the evil villainy that is the Red Team. And uh, I don't know if the, in the lore if there's more detail than that. Um, okay, yeah, got it. Thanks. So we start off with our mobile base here. And our goal is to recapture Felheim. Hope rises in Felheim. Felheim Base, once a mining facility, later retrofitted as an emergency storage depot. Then the invaders came, and like everything else, it fell into enemy hands. You're thinking it too, right? Asked your pilot, grinning. If we can capture this facility, we'd have a home base to fall back to if we needed it. It would get us a foothold in the province and hit them hard while we're at it. It's an opportunity you can't pass up. The battles ahead will challenge you and shape the country's future. You need to take every advantage you can get. And it all starts with Felheim. Is that an intact crawler? I think we struck gold here. Finally, a way to repair and refit these hunks of junk. <laughs> Bravo, one. We're seeing two mechs approaching from the west, requesting immediate support. I'm getting a negative response on my IFF. Treat these walkers as hostile. Yeah. All right, reinforcements. More enemies incoming. Use cover to avoid damage and eliminate enemies quickly to keep things under control. Got it. Okay, so again, I see a lot of comparisons to Into the Breach, and one of the ones, this pretty simple, but uh, you have up here a combination of main objectives and secondary objectives that, you know, if you extend your limited resources well enough, you can try to accomplish the secondary objective as well. Now, for this battle, let's see, let's just check our what we've got. We have Kilo here with a assault rifle and a handgun, and the shotgun and shield on Polaris. Let's see, now, am I getting shot at at any point on this timeline? There, so check this out. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to use the shield as soon as he... Shield facing him. So, shield up. Bam, 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 bam. We absorb the hits. And then we return fire on the tank. And I believe two shots ought to do it. I'd come up right here. Ooh. I can't make it there in time. Um, I guess I could try taking some pot shots anyway. You know? Mm. Alright. We'll just, we'll just need to make that two turns. Pow, 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 pow. Yep. Nice moves. This guy's virtually untouched. And now we're in position. And I think that should actually do it. Um, one of the elements that you want to keep in mind... Yeah, attacks generate heat. Keep an eye on the timeline and the heat indicator. Space attacks still at the heat. So I can't just chain attack, 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 attack because you'll start overheating your, your machine and doing damage to yourself, which actually I am doing here by chaining those attacks earlier. So we're going to spread this out a little bit. There we go. That should be good. I don't think that tank makes it. 
Oh, look at that. I didn't even need the shotgun. Engaging. Let's deal with them and report to command. There's been no activity here for a while. I have no idea who these walkers are. Yeah. Alright, so all we need to do now, knock out this bad guy. Let's see, is he already in... Nah, let's move up a little bit. Then, we blast him. that nah here's what we want to do and you're gonna see why in just a second I want to try to take this guy out but I want to take him out with as few with as little damage as necessary pow, pow. all right can I knock him out here can I knock him out ah he's not Let's see. Now I think I'm getting shot at right now. Immediately. Throw shield up. And with you. Go ahead and Yeah, I I'm gonna Ah. Uh, let's let's just execute here. I'm gonna try one attack and I'm hoping that knocks out the pilot. That red bar uh, at the top, I believe, is the pilot's health. So we can concuss the pilot and keep the machine mostly un undamaged. That would be great. There it is. Look at that. Legs went down, but hey. Pilot concussed. Excellent. Now, why is that important? Because there's a salvage phase after every battle. And so what we want to do... Sites can store equipment and resources that can be recovered at no cost. So yeah, you see in the salvage menu, we've got 50 points that we can spend. Right now, anything that's reward, stored items, like completely on this stuff, doesn't cost anything. We just get this. Enemy units can also yield loot. Recovering them will cost points from your salvage budget. So this weapon is worth recovering. Left click here to take it. Alright, yeah. Recovering parts will use up your salvage budget with destroyed parts costing more to recover. But not everything is worth recovering. A lower cost option is to scrap a part for resources instead. Right. So we're given three options. Okay, like, uh, look at this uh, medium torso here. I could either recover it, which would cost me 15 points, or I could scrap it, dismantle it, turn it into supplies. So that'll give us resources, but... Uh, you know, it costs fewer fewer salvage points. Or I could just leave it on the battlefield. It doesn't cost me anything. Now this right here, this option says recover the mech frame. I guess it's not letting me click that because that takes me over budget. So, I think everything else I need to salvage here. All right. Salvage. Let's go. The crew discovers an enormous, heavily fortified vehicle in the base. Inside, there's ample space to accommodate pilot and crew, complete with a bay to house mechs. It's creaky from disuse, but still otherwise intact. You run your hand along the surface of its enormous tire treads, and at your side, an engineer breathes in awe. I never thought I'd see one of these in person. What a find! With this mobile base, you'll be able to take the fight out onto the road, striking the enemy where they don't expect it, and even outfitting your mechs out in the field. This will take your campaign a long, long way. Alright. And I think we leave it here with today's video. Uh, we'll pick up in part two with the rest of the campaign for the Headmark region. But for now, this is the Iron Kaiser, signing off.